like the black and white section is pretty much knocked out would you agree yep yeah we're done with that black and white section at least as far as the ocean goes but i'm not sure if we're going to bother doing it when uh, the time for the sky comes so finally that means we get to start applying color today yes yep that's right but it's not going to go exactly as we thought it was going to go is it no it's not so what we've learned is that these transparent paints that i was so thought was magical and new turns out i've been painting with them all my life um I watched a video um, of an artist I respect a great deal, and <clears throat> he introduced me to something called transparent paints, which are these right here, of which I've bought. We have phthalo blue, transparent, um, phthalo green, dioxide purple, transparent, transparent, transparent. Do you want to tell everybody what's actually going on from there? Uh, sure. All that transparent means is that when you drag a, um, a certain color of paint over black, it's either opaque or it's not. And if it's opaque, it'll block the blackout completely. If it's not, it's transparent. And I've always used my colors and I've watered them down greatly because I have had so very little money. I had to make a tube of paint last a very long time. But um, with the transparent paints, it's not going to hurt. And I feel like it's just destiny. Destiny, you say? I like that. Why is it destiny? Because it inspired us to whatever false information we had, it inspired us to knock everything out into black and white, which, you know, it looks pretty good at this point. meaning all the values are there, um, the shapes are there, everything looks nice, and um, you know, we can begin with color. Speaking of color, this is kind of funny because uh, normally when we begin a painting, we just jump in with color big time. And I have friends that are only working black and white, and I can understand why they think that working in color is so difficult because just looking at this, I almost don't want to touch it because, oh, what am I going to do with the color? I can see how it be a little bit intimidating as well, but I think the secret to color is, is just jump in there and do it and manipulate it as you go along, just as you would a black and white painting. Like you're not going to just leave your black down. You're going to come over it with white and then a gray and then black again and then white. Color works the exact same way. Just jump into the pond and make your colors happen, I think. All right. Well, speaking of jumping into the pond, let's say we get to work. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> 